All right, I want to get that picture of the broken window. Ah, uh, this is it. Okay. They just busted it through. All right, and then this is the uh, area that the window is broken in. I'm not, I'm not gonna check it out too much. It's interesting. I think it was an old barracks of some kind. An Ameri a real American Christmas is more migrants entering the country. Yeehaw! There's a, I think a border patrol helicopter in the air again. All right, I entered Ringgold Park. I suspect that this was here when the military base was active. This fence around is pretty old. And so you can get away, f cross the railroad tracks and get away from the uh, military base life. Not too far away. And come to this, really, it's an entirely fenced in park for some reason. Now is that because they hold, oh, bathrooms are locked. That's too bad. Hold events that they charge money and restrict entry. Why do they have to have a big fence uh, with, with, uh, um, not, not, yeah, with barbed wire on the top. They got to have a fence with barbed wire on the top. Public utilities, that's, 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 that's fine. Put a fence around public utilities, but uh, it's kind of rare to see fences around parks like this, like a military base. Well, at least they don't close the gate. I'm thinking they probably don't bother really locking it. Maybe they do. They must be really on top of early early hours and late hours for for opening and closing. All right, after getting chased by a few dogs, there's another park. All vehicles will be towed after 10 p.m. Wow, that's a that's strongly worded. Usually they just say get off before 10 no we're gonna tow you after 10 being a little harsher that's the culture they got to be a little harsher to get their message across so then people will be like oh I just I just shouldn't be parking here overnight probably won't get towed but you know there's the strongly worded message to up to raise the game and this is for kids clearly they made a very nice basketball uh, arena area <clears throat> very nice right next to they could have put a roof over the skate park too that would have been cool here we go here's some rules got to get to the bottom of this one no wheels are allowed in the skate park and then also you better not be skating if it's raining or there's ice I've never seen that warning before I don't know if that could be seen without um, uh, zooming in adult daycare for me is this a profitable business or do they need government government subsidies Oh no, the big one! Alright, it appears I reached a dead end. Gonna have to turn around. This is an interesting structure. No access. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines of barbed wire. That's strong security. 
I could hop the gates. I'd have to leave the bicycle behind, I think. Yeah. Could hop the gates and enter to get a closer look. It's kind of active. I don't know how many people would come down here. I'm guessing that this building um, was probably like a repair shack for large, large things. Maybe trains. Uh, it's very windy park. I kind of like hearing the, the palm trees uh, rustle in the wind. I've decided to do a little cooking of uh, the oats or these uh, the muesli and then the quinoa. The cooking times are quinoa's 15 minutes and then it says muesli if you want to cook it do seven minutes. So I'm gonna have to put the quinoa in, give it a head start of seven minutes and then uh, work on and toss in the muesli. See, some people are happy with just putting a sour sauce on, on something like this, but I want it to sour itself. I'll inoculate it with this soured onion, and then it's gonna take some time for that to spread the sourness to the grains, but I'm not happy with just throw, tossing in a sour sauce. It's very generous of them not to put a gate up here. Uh. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna find much privacy even at the park. They got people parking. Yeah. I I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I'm not too enthused about park, parking next to this children's playground, but I don't want to park any further in. Uh, oof, da, ooh. God dang it. There's a couple pull-up bars. I'd just as soon park over here and, oh my god. All right, well, whatever. This kind of, uh, it's the best I can do. It's so warm and humid. Mm, all right, all right. Wait, did I just? see myself one of these days getting in an accident and having this knife uh, this thing blow up and this knife ricocheting off and coming straight from my face nothing I can do about it okay going to the Walmart home first I just this is kind of a new new spot so I'm just gonna record a little bit oh man that's almost a, that was almost a double stop Okay, I gotta take a right. Yeah! Ooh! Ooh! This is the one! Ooh! Wow! Turn left on your Road. Oh jeez, that that uh, was a surprise. That was nearly a double stop for the light. You know, there's a lot of these billboards about traffic accidents, lawyers. Lawyers looking to uh, help out people with traffic accidents. Either there's a lot of traffic accidents or that Texas law against ambulance chasing is, is really effective. And the lawyers have to do more marketing now. I don't know. Los Ivanos. I hung out at that park for a long time. All kinds of exercisers, people running uh, around. I never walked it. I stayed by my car the whole time. Cooked a little 
Bet and whatever. Los, Los Ibanos. All right, we're gonna lift it here and look at all the ads for politicians. Oh, oh, nobody behind. All right, all these politicians. All these crazy signs. When they get elected, they must they must have power, really powerful positions that fight so hard for these. I don't know. Are the sign are signs really that effective? Is there no is there no campaign on the internet at all that's that's getting people ahead in any way? Like these these people don't even have like con contact information. You just kind of see their names and their faces all over. I've never seen so many, so many signs. It's in every city too, pretty much. But here, that guy, that's a unique one for experience, accessible, sure for all. These must be some amazing positions to fight, to, to put up so many billboards. Are these, these people, their only budget, they budgeted only for signs to get elected, that's it. Is that is that it? And then uh, we don't we don't need to learn about who they are as people. We just need to know their faces and their names. I don't see any young, youthful faces. These are these are older people with with money who might be trying to profit off the positions on top of it. I wouldn't think these positions normally pay a lot of money. Especially to cover all the money they've, they've spent um, on these billboards. And... I think I'm going to smell that one. Looks like a, a, a small dog crossing the road. Now he's just gonna walk along the road. A little Chihuahua. Oh, he got scared by a car. <laughs> he waits till the last minute to get off the road to get out of the way of that car. Mm -hmm. What a Merry Christmas today. Not a drop of, not a sprinkling of snow at all. In fact, I sweated a little bit. Moisture's up. People are out and about. In fact, I really haven't noticed any Christmas decorations around here. People are kind of celebrating Christmas without the decorations. Well, you know, why bother? Okay, writing, all right. And then it's it's uh, it's gonna be some distance, a mile. Wow, it is a six, this is a six. Conway. It's it's uh, six miles. So it says a uh, mission CISD food production. Two cops over there, kind of hanging out in a parking lot of the the junior high school. Forty miles per hour. Home loans, loans, loans. O'Grady Eagles soar to success. Holland Avenue next signal. Yeah, I think it's going to be kind of busy around the Walmart. I hope this Walmart's open. It's almost 6. I would think they would probably open at 6. If this is a 24-hour one. That one I left that's closed all cr Christmas. Um, it like closes at midnight normally and then opens at six I believe but this one up I'm going up to is 24 hours so I would ex you know they're, they're probably gonna open a little sooner Mexico, Taco Bell, uh, and 
to Hitos Mexicanos. Lots of Mexicans. Pueblo uh, Loco. All kinds of Mexican eateries. You know, and that's really saddens me. Is this a turn-in? Oh my god. They covered up the... You can kind of see it. Not easy to see though. A little confusing for a new person. HEB Express. Yeah, it's a lot of... I'm thinking that these Mexican um, eateries are pushing out the health food sections at grocery stores and... You don't see any natural food stores in, in uh, heavily, more heavily populated Mexican style food place cities with Mexican style foods. They've just, it's like one or the other type of thing. And I don't see Mexican food as being near uh, like a health food store. It doesn't serve my, my needs at all. Two miles. I knew it was far. Oh my god, it's 30? 45. There's people parked, they're like, okay, security, kind of like driving undercover Oftas cars. All right, where's a good spot to set up? I see home and far, I see grocery on the right, so I wanna park on the left. I always
always want to be oh those are two cops wow oh no they got they got to have the blue lights in the parking lot that's not a good sign hmm. they got to have two blue lights in the parking lots what's going on around here that's requires that there's two cops sitting in the uh, the parking lot uh, next to the doors okay we're done two lot cops in the main parking lot and this thing it doesn't it doesn't shout warnings at you though seems to be more in black communities and then this door looks like it's pounded in it might be kind of bad around here one of them lock cops in the corner and another one here okay this is not looking very good they've had some problems so I'm thinking with the absence of private security on the Walmart lot they really are using the the city pit police this soda made a dollar a whole dollar I wonder if there's more where that came from or more where that spread out there's not a lot of trash behind the Walmart they're doing a good job keeping it clean